All right. Welcome back to another episode of the auction discussion. Now, these are Land Rovers and Range Rovers that are for sale at dealer auction. And we got for you today is a 2004 Land Rover G4 Edition Manual Swapped D2 that's for sale at a dealer out of Atlanta. Um, it's got 200,000 listed miles on it. It has had an R380 swapped into it at some point and an LT230. I mean, I think it had an LT230, but it's it's, it's supposed to be new. So it's an interesting looking truck, right? It's lifted. It's got some big boy wheels on it. Um, look, there's the manual. Uh, the R380 looks kind of odd right there for our US spec D2. It's got a silly big screen going on there with a backup camera. Um, original engine, I'm assuming no mention of any type of uh, mechanical work done besides, look, there's looks look like a, a new Ashcroft unit under there. Um, you know, it looks clean. It doesn't look too rusty. It's missing the driving lights. It doesn't have a rack or a snorkel or anything like that. So, you know, I, I'm sure these things came in different configurations, but it's kind of odd not seeing the full thing there, especially for $34,000. I might have missed that at the beginning. This is, I think it's listed between forty dollars and $34,000 to make a uh, an offer, um, which is kind of wild seeing how it just has a manual transmission swapped in, which I think arguably really makes it worse. It makes it a little more interesting, but I don't think that's worth a uh, $15,000 premium over the other ones. Now, you also see some details here as I scroll through the rest of it that don't really still don't really justify the price. That's a lot of wear on that pedal if we go back. Yeah, look at that. That's... That doesn't, that's not synonymous with a, a recent swap. That driver's seat, I think, is missing the cladding down below. Uh, oh, sorry, passenger seat's missing the uh, the trim there. And then under the dash, that's also missing a trim piece as well. So, you know, I know it's a Land Rover. and this stuff's not super easy to get. But, you know, for the price point, it makes it a little bit tough to justify. Um, what else? Just going through. I mean, again, it looks like it's in good condition. It's probably okay, but it still registers 200000 miles so you know you can't un -shit box a shit box and you know land rovers like this are essentially shit boxes so you know they're they're wonderful but it's still a lot of miles for this type of truck um again interior is in good conditions they have lots of pictures there's no running video or anything like that um and really no description at all and i i know that you could probably go to their 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 website and find most of this information, but why even post to Mannheim with just, you know, limited details? It's, 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 it's an odd place. I don't know why everyone does that. Um, one cup holder. Oh yeah. Weird, but I think it's kind of cool. Headliner, obviously the old headliners probably let go. So you got this kind of Africa seam headliner and that's it for this truck. Like I said, 34 some thousand dollars, uh, 40 even. Oh yeah. So that's a lot of money. Um, yeah, hope you like this video. We're doing some more of these and subscribe for more. Thanks guys.